What's up guys? This is the Roferman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of My Empire Total War Let's Play as the Italian States. So to round off where we left off from last time, we are... I've got a feeling maybe the, the Swedish general assault may have begun and we are being attacked by three and a half stacks here at Strasbourg. And there's going to be a lot of artillery on the field towards the end. Um, but first, we have to uh, destroy their infantry trying to attack us before worrying about their artillery and that's why we have a horse grenadier guards to run around to go and pick off and some regiment of horse to pick off their gun crews so without further ado let's get ready to defend so there is a strong chance that we may lose the garrison and lose the position but i think the amount of damage it will do to swedish forces will probably more than more than offset the loss of that army I think. Uh, Sweden is very strong in the west, but they are very weak in the east, and the east is where we have amassed considerable forces and we're pushing on towards Prague and Berlin at this point. So. Let us deploy some infantry keep our marines back for no actually no i put a unit of marines up on the walls so they can still do some defensive work but predominantly it's going to be my line infantry to hold the position so those are my men that are already on the walls we have options like this to deploy considerable anti-cavalry she's that unit yeah that unit was on the wall we do have the ability to deploy a considerable number of troops in this manner to complicate their cavalry's ability to push through. So the reason why I'm deploying some out here is because it is possible for this to be broken and then for them to come through these archways. So just something like that, just something that keeps them roughly in a useful position. Let's keep my cavalry safely to the rear. Our howitzers can deploy like this, maybe a bit more like this. Then we're still left with infantry that can deploy trenches like so. Good. It's everyone deploy, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. So these infantry units that are as yet uncommitted get them out of the way my howitzers focus on quick climb they're dropping off quick climb can it reach the walls it can reach the wall in which case then abandon this section of the wall I would love if they destroyed it. It's my howitzers though that are going to do the work. Well, I would have liked one of you to hit the grenadiers. No, might be good to keep you up on the walls to act as a bit of a melee reserve but I do not want them to defend this breach I don't want them to defend this section of the wall although I suppose they may as well defend it lots of changed opinions over here okay 
my reserves. Get out of the way. My howitzers attack there. How are my mortars? How are my howitzers that have 500 range? Not outranging your mortars. Doing some good work into the Grenadier Guards. Okay, let's put a guard engineer unit up here, ready to start to attack wherever these guys are going to decide to try and scale the wall. The job of these men is to hold. They're scaling up there, that's okay. That's why we've got engineers. And we're doing some great damage to them already. Okay, let's abandon the how it's a killing instead focus on cavalry killing because I'm going to have to deploy my cavalry to deal with that because that's incredibly long range. Fortunately they've sent you to have blunderbuss shotgunners up first. We've got some funny, yeah, graphic shenanigans going on. Let's run my guards over there to kill them. Let's run. Okay, don't run them over there to kill them, man. If you're going to be silly about it. run the cavalry. It's going to be a bit of a suicide run. I just want them to make their breach. Actually, no, you're okay there. Charge these foot line across to go and engage. They haven't got really anyone to shoot at. Okay, horse grenadier guards. You are going to have to gun it. Ignore these men behind you. Ignore all of these guys. This is going to be hard to override their programming. Keep running. They seem to be doing the right thing. Although they are, my guys are wavering because they're slowly catching up with my dudes. Good stuff. Okay, now don't now avoid avoid combat if at all possible the howitzers are a, are a juicy target but I want to keep those howitzers in play because they're not firing quick climb I mean, you can 
can try and kill the general's bodyguard, I guess. Because two of them are here. You are definitely going to die, though. But yeah, I want them to breach, so attacking their artillery is a bad plan. Okay, I've got my guards to go help out this unit of militia. My, uh... Yeah, those dragoons, they're going down. They're going down. So you guys might have to hit the sharpshooters if they're able to do so much damage off the wall like that. Because right now, no one's really... I'm probably over there, but... There we go. Let's run our garrison guards back towards the breach. Let's get this light infantry over here to give the Grenadier Guards someone to shoot at. Your damn breach. Let's bring you guys over here. Let's bring these guardsmen over here. Okay, the howitzers are just deciding to uh, are just going to decide to drop quick climb as well, eh? You were being a good little boy. And attacking the uh, attacking the breach. Frustratingly, my infantry does seem to be losing to two units of militia. I mean, that will soon change when my foot guards show up. Okay. Round shot. The guns. Yeah, got a handful of guys in one artillery piece engaging them. Okay, let's man these guns. So my heart is not even firing anymore. GG. My howitzers are bugged completely. Let's see if limbering them up does any difference. It'd be handy if you guys could man some guns, any guns. At least those guys limbered up. Let's speed up time and see if now they begin to engage. There we go. Okay, you guys can hit their artillery. Let's unlimber you guys. also hit their howitzers. There we go. Seems to have fixed it. We don't have enough crew to gun to man this set, so that's fair enough. Be all we can really do, because right now, no, they're not actually trying to attack, is uh, 
There we go. Those guys are finally manning their artillery. Because apart from that, I don't think anything's going to really be happening because they don't seem to want to attack. Their guns, their horse artillery aren't attacking the walls like we want them to. So what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to chop the recording here and bring goes back when something starts to kick off. I mean, we are starting to see reinforcements march up. I suppose that is something, at least. But right now, our expat infantry are doing a handful of expat infantry, or one guy. I think it's start to do the same thing. Okay, the howitzers have ran. Don't aim at their artillery over there. Those guys are hitting... Ooh, this section might become a target. Okay, one of the lone guns can go after that militia unit. These guys with their round shot can go after... They're cuirassiers, I suppose, in lieu of a real target. Because, I mean, no one else seems to want to uh, do anything. I mean, th those guns are doing good to attack this section of the wall here. At least that's contributing. These guys are making a breach. They just can't seem to make up their mind where they want to breach. It looks like it's going to be that bastion now. That's okay. That's what we want. Just focus on dropping some of their artillery. Hey, these garrison guards have climbed the walls. I mean, if they don't hurry up, then... Although now they've lost their howitzers, my uh, men can reoccupy the position. I wonder how that unit got so... that, that feature got so damaged. Yeah, these, these garrison, these guards over here, they're going to keep firing their uh, regular artillery. And my expat infantry should, asterisk, beat those infantry coming in. It does look like what they're trying to do is just wait out their guns in order to make a breach which I understand let's get these marines into the house probably with this regiment of line yeah they might be winning they've just got not enough men so they should start to suffer from some sort of morale problem Climbing howitzers are still trying to reach. I mean, they are very, very out of range. Yeah, I've just got this on, you know, fast forward just because nothing's really going on. And they're not really taking advantage of their. of their, um advantage in numbers by waiting. Okay, you guys run over here and quickly try and take positions on the, the wall there. Uh, let's try to get this unit of line 
over here to cover them when they inevitably fall. Not quite sure where the militia's trying to go. Ah, the Bastion. If that's even the right name for it. But right now they have no other way in. <laughs> Especially if their intent is to quick climb us at max range. Come on, let's bring in my supporting line. Well, now they're attacking here. Um. Okay. So what I'm probably going to do, especially as this, this militia has just gotten eaten up, is probably chop the recording until they make a breach. Because right now, I'm not even convinced they will in the time allotted. I'm not going to sally out, because why would I? But it looks like their artillery can't make up their minds as to what to shoot at. So I'm probably just going to chop the recording and see you guys whenever something interesting happens. So see you in a... May, well, see you in a second. Okay, guys. They have their breach. Question is... They have got an all-cavalry army. And uh, <laughs> there's a bunch of anti-cavalry spikes. So... I'm intrigued if they will... Okay, now I'm going to go after their artillery. Because there's no... There was an interesting moment earlier where the howitzers pushed up. Or some howitzers pushed up, which we destroyed. Some heavy horse guard artillery also pushed up. But as you can see, they lost two of their teams here. Another team, but when they set up... Well, before they set up, then they routed. And one of the teams got destroyed on the outbound leg. I'm bringing in more foot artillery. But right now, I just want to see if they'll push, because this will be beautiful to see charge in. So I kind of don't want them to make another breach, although it looks like they're probably gonna. Yeah, in which case then let's take these guys and just, just get them away. Just get them, just get them away. There's another howitzer unit pushing up, which we will probably want to destroy. Because if I'm going to have anything shooting at me, I'd rather it be this sort of artillery rather than howitzers. So let's tar start targeting them now. See those 12 pounders back there, and they're too far away to have any real damage. Quick climb, their quick climb radius is about here. But it looks like they are going to get in. But if they do, similarly. Lots of anti-cavalry defences. Let's get these guys into the wall. Into the... Um, into the armoury. So I particularly don't want these howitzers here because it would give them a good... opportunity to... Actually, it's round shot when they're on the move. Quick line when they're deployed. That's usually the best mixture, I think. But I'm curious what their motive is. Yeah, so you don't have to worry about quickline from those guys at the back. I mean, these guys might even become within come within range of the 117th. Yeah, they are. So my men. <laughs> that is a strategic blunder, somewhat. Okay, let's retarget. Well, how it's us back against this unit of cavalry so any misses hit a nearby unit but yeah, those guys aren't going to be around for too long it looks like they will successfully make their breach but uh, they can't do it they can't stay there for long under the musketry of the town even though they are actually doing surprisingly well when it comes to st staying put But yeah, look at the time. They got four minutes. They did they didn't want to attack. They never wanted to attack. 
start firing at them with quick climb, maybe. Because any near near hits will still do. Aim at the closest target. I'm curious to see what damage can be done. Uh, you're not doing any damage. It's probably because they don't have enough crew. Okay, let's see these guns fire. Because they're now within quick lame range. Because they've... There we go. I don't know if it's their programming, but it's like they need to attack. But they can't. Because they're just cavalry against a very strong position. So let's just do what damage we can, I suppose. There's only two minutes left. Okay, so they finally made a breach on the right-hand side. And are they going to deliciously feed one cavalry unit at a time into that breach? Because look, where can they go? I think we've got men standing by. These men can fire from inside, but look... Hey, these also have mines. That's pretty neat. <laughs> but there we go. The regiment of force destroyed. And who else is going to push? Uh, doesn't look like anyone. <laughs> and they've 20 seconds left. Okay, so this is a great example of the AI pretty much producing an army with a unit composition it does not like. They started pushing up infantry, but it's too late. They've got all this cavalry, but they don't want to attack, because they'll lose it all like that. In which case, then we, we win. Like, there's nothing else to be said. <laughs> uh, they produce such an unbalanced force, they decided not to attack. They lose, and that means they lose all of their troops. Like, they've gone from nearly 8,000 to 1.2. That's huge. So now their push down towards uh, that region has failed dramatically, and we can replenish while also probably uh, rebuilding or building more troops. Oh, I thought they were about to make it all the way back to the capital there, but thankfully not. They are moving men up to support the Eastern Front. They're even moving up their gentlemen. Push for a river battle, I dare you. You can keep raiding Calais as much as you like. Okay, so that force that was near the Swedish capital needs to pull back rapido. The Moogles are being the Moogles. Ah, uh, yes, north. Or the northern shore of South America. And they're going to attack us at all these levee. Do it. <laughs> Although, funnily enough, this is this will probably be a slightly frustrating battle because they'll route, come back, route, come back, route, come back. Because they'll lose so few men in the initial action. When they come back, they will not be in a good spot to... To actually uh, destroy the route so quickly. Let's deploy one of my gunners. Got quite a wide variety of troops here. No, just the two lines will do. Out to the hut. They've not got very good firing arcs, but I can live with that. Deploy three more infantry. Deploy our other gun team. Deploy four infantry on the right to extend out. Deploy four infantry on the left. And they will also extend out. Well, how it says they're going to be firing as much quick climb as they can get there. Hands on. 
cavalry on each flank and let's see where the bulk of their forces are deployed. Okay, they've deployed deep rather than wide. Okay, let's stretch. You guys out a little bit more. Make sure my quick climbing howards is not aiming at the same target, as much as they have done a bunch of damage to these poor swords. But I'm more than welcome to force to force them to attack me because that's brilliant. They've got two of these armies. I don't want to fight them both at once. Let's push. my artillery on the left. Okay, you can probably stand to start to limber up. And probably move this wing like so. Let's run them just to not take any chances. Push out my gunners. Here we go. The lines have met. They've sent, they're sending some bowmen out to try and interfere with my cavalry. So let's run my cavalry back to draw them towards my front lines. You men run and you men run. Probably take these three units and straighten them out a bit. That's a lot of levy. Yeah, there we go. The routing troops have already come back. Watch out, they've got bows and arrows. They're not as good as the American. Native Americans with bows and arrows, though. Charge my cavalry in. These men are wavering. Now they're just shaking. I think that unit of Dakini is probably going to rout. But bear in mind, my cavalry can't take them all out. I mean, they have a good go, but the 34th will do some good damage in their flank. Actually, let's take this cavalry out on a grand tour to start to go hit some of these other units behind the lines. Yeah, they're firing. To flank, too much, too much to charge you guys in to directly help. It's the other gun team managed to get into a position to provide help. begin to push up our position a bit, get this guy to start to fire a round shot at the general's bodyguard. And the regiment of horse is starting to get weary. You men charge that either of bows Get these line infantry guards into the combat. Try and pull our regiment of force out. That's actually a good call by them to hit my fusiliers. Yeah, you guys charge that, you nerve bowmen. There we go, and they've all broken. 
So my knackered regiment of horse. Charge them down. You guys hit that unit of bowmen. General's gone. Just use my. Where's my general as well? Let's get him over here. Begin chopping your way through that infantry. <laughs> I think that's nearly everyone. Now this unit is hunkering down in the centre. Looks like it's very much just a, just a unit of levy. Hey. Turn these men around to go charge that unit of levy. Charge bodyguard, go charge that unit. They finally broken. <laughs> These guys are about to break as well. Too bad for the Mughals, our pockets went pockets run deep. Yeah, there we go. They've been not shattered. There they are. Levy still hung, hanker, still holding on. Okay, let's just speed up time. Could have been getting more use out of this cavalry than I'm currently getting. I'm going to speed up time just to just to uh, attempt to do some more damage to these guys to make them more susceptible to routing in the future. Although they're going to route as well. Good try. Do a lot of damage to this unit. Oh, quick climbing howitzers. No, thank you. Pretty sure this is the last unit remaining on the field. Yeah, I think it is. But they are quite close to the edge of the map, so they're likely to get away. But at a terrible cost. Come on. Yep, yeah, this is one of the two colonial armies we need to knock out in order to take command of the wealth of the known lands of Brazil. They yeah, lost nearly 6,000 men. They may send their other army up towards us, and that might be a bit dodgy, so that's why we're going to resupply and then. Okay, before I do any of that, hop over to here. Replenish your men. Put the capital under siege. But don't actually worry about attacking it for now. Let's upgrade some of the industry in Trinidad. And Naba, you could become a global trading company. Green Mallorca first. Great on this industry near Venice. So these guys are full strength. So we're going to bring this reinforcing army back here north. You guys are still replenishing, as is this guy behind the lines. You guys can now elect to hit Prague. Although, I do remember specifically wanting round shot, or um, Avanti, per il paese, I took a per awkward la route. La Is that a problem? I don't think it's a problem. Well, especially not if I do this. 
To be honest, we probably... No, minus six. Definitely could not. Avanti, he so I think territory like Hungary, some Hungary. Do we have any church schools? Palatian State. Coaching in. No, we don't have any church schools. Okay. Oh, no, we do. Well, I just cancelled that for no reason. Great. The Jesuit College, Moldavia has got two turns till it gets a fort. Pushing up in good order. Hungary, build some more guns. Vienna, pick up some cavalry to join this small, fo small force so they're not left uh, completely vulnerable. You guys are going to march and go and attack Walter Valen. Let's go. Let's go fight them. They're probably going to route back towards the capital and end up in a frustrating position but at least they will be they will be destroyed and then we've also brought our army back to the capital to help uh, respond to those Swedish armies coming in from your center so do we have any yes high position deploy our artillery, deploy our howitzers. So we're going to go on the offensive. Bizarrely, this time I'm going to actually give I'm going to give my cavalry pikemen support. But let's up and at them. So my cavalry are walking, but my pikemen are going to run. Okay, they can focus on this unit of line infantry in the event that they attempt to form a bit of a block. Yeah, if my cavalry walk and my pikemen run, they can stay at roughly the same pace. Same pace. Deploy the cavalry to engage these Swedish hunters. We didn't kill a handful of our own men in the counter charge. So I'm attempting to run my cavalry around their flank. In doing so, we actually discovered. to another enemy position. Yeah, the Dragoons have been pushed back. Their infantry has decided it wants to engage. The cavalry should have no problem killing these guys. Pikemen charge this regiment. The cavalry should be able to destroy the line infantry on the flank. Let's bring my heavy cavalry up into the mix. We're engaging the Osterbottens Regimente. They will make for some fine quicklime fodder. Kill a handful more of those guys because lots of them are actually in our clump. Actually, all of them are in our clump. Charge my cavalry up to intercept and attack this foot line of foot. Pikemen are supposedly losing this combat. Has broken, slam the door shut. 
charge at the general, deploy our heavy cavalry, retarget my howitzers. So I've got my heavy cavalry to charge straight into the straight into their line infantry, get my light cavalry around to the rear. Let's stop my howitzers from firing. Yeah, their infantry is confident, but they're only losing slightly. Other heavy cavalry unit had it killed. It did. The infantry are unhappy. The general's bodyguard should also go down fairly quickly. You guys stop shooting. The general's been killed. It should certainly help. There, oh, there, this regiment of foot did come back temporarily. Those gunners are going to go down. It's for darn sure. You guys continue. A light horse. Actually, a light horse charge. Actually, no. Don't worry about the general at all. My light horse, horse hit that infantry. General's bodyguard hit that line infantry. You guys hit that infantry unit. I'm not worried about their cavalry. The general escaping rather, because they have been. The general's been killed. So the general's unit will disappear anyway. Now it's just my general to charge down their infantry. Oh no, is there actually a... This regiment of foot. So it says there's three men, but I see two here. So where's the third? Aha! You thought you could evade us? Nice. So that's a Swedish... Uh, Swedish formation destroyed down to 34 men. Obviously they stay alive. <laughs> Send overwhelming force to take them out. So you men replenish, you men march up the road to intercept, you guys replenish. Send this sloop around, there is no Finnish dockyard yet. You may as well go over as nosy around St. Petersburg and see that they have nothing. Fascinating, neither does Finland, there's no garrison there. You have no safe haven, so you may as well just stay up here. There is a Russian navy with an army aboard that may land. But they're making themselves ripe for the counter-attack. Then this force down here. You guys replenish and we can also run up. God, infantry has a massive amount of coverage of metal roads. Look at that. Will you guys push up? <laughs> Probably be okay. Okay, let's send infantry support to these more beleaguered forces. Let's probably also tack on some another span of infantry. Let's also do some upgrading in London. Edinburgh, your force is still your objective is to still mainly be defensive. 
recruited a new general, so let's pick up a couple more units of fusiliers if I can. To fill out that recruitment, that recruitment slot. Probably want to be defensive for Prague for now until the artillery actually makes it up into position. So Breslau is okay being defensive here. You're moving up. You can't afford to leave Vienna yet. Although now you're slowly starting to become Catholic. <laughs> Seville's now got a new an upgraded college. Ah, yes. You chaps. So where are you going to go? One of you. But you can't run the gauntlet to to, uh, to Finland just yet. But I think you're both going to land in Copenhagen. So let's deploy... We land them on Copenhagen. Okay, so how good is this fleet? It's not very good. How good is this fleet? Also not very good. So. Let's pick up Soraya to be... Oh, that's Scupper. <laughs> Nuts. Can't promote an Admiral. Oh well. Let us... Boro, probably a fourth rate ship of a lot. Actually, no. Just these guys are okay. Because what I want them to do is to sail down to bottle up the force, the navy here at Rostock. If I could then get this force that's raiding and bottle up the force here at Aarhus. You guys aren't yet recruiting a new navy. But this force here isn't overly strong. I mean, our finances have shrunk because we're no longer raiding, but the intention would be to take... ...these ships out to raid, although... ...I don't see how I can get trade income if they're not having any trade. But the idea is by blockading... ...by blocking off their port access, I could actually sell one of these guys over to Finland. There we go, we now have free passage. <laughs> okay, land off on the coast of Finland. See if you guys get gobbled up. You do. Fair enough. <laughs> it's only a sloop. And then... You can embark Armando here. Can then pick up this force which can sail to hit Copenhagen I mean Berlin was an option but I'd rather I would rather attack those Senor, regions than if I put this sloop here Alla via così, Capitano. although I suppose the, the logical next step for the next episode is to go and hit the force here to make sure they are destroyed. But, looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for... Well, the next episode, I should hopefully take Copenhagen and also Finland while pushing on Prague as well. So, the noose is tightening around Sweden. Radio. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.